and right now SkewGrid is still getting the information from the supplier so you won't see the image yet you won't see the title but you do see the SKU that you entered on Amazon and you do see the Amazon uh, ASIN for the item however this other information will fill in when the item finishes being scraped but at this point what I would like to do is actually set up the repricing for the item and to do that I'm going to click on this edit link and you will then scroll down it will show you the same information on the item that we just added and what I'm interested in doing is actually overriding the default selling formula so whether or not you actually set up a default selling formula you still have to override the default so you're going to click on that override default selling formula and you're going to use the formula wizard as you can see SkewGrid already has some numbers in here and I'm going to actually change them and use my own numbers the tax percent um, what I'm going to use is the same 10 percent that I used when I was calculating in fact what I'm going to do is actually move this calculator closer to SkewGrid so you can see what I'm doing I'm using the same 10 percent tax I used before then we have the margin and I will come back to the margin in just a second um, I'm gonna take all of these out I don't want any of these numbers all I want is the vendor tax the Amazon fees which are 15 percent that is fine these are zeros I'll just take them out so all I need is vendor tax percentage um, I will put the margin in in just a second the Amazon fees and whether or not I want to include supplier shipping in calculations the answer is yes because Zorro will charge shipping so I'm going to say yes include the suppliers shipping in my calculation but for the margin the question becomes well what do I put what margin is the right amount to put and it really depends on how high you want the price to be and when I calculated the profit for this item based on Amazon's price and my cost in the previous video I had come up with a cost of 839 here and I used Amazon's price of 1018 and it gave me a profit of 26 cents initial profit and the margin came out to 2.55 percent so this is what I'm looking at here because the uh, cash back which is part of the total profit is not going to be looked at by SkewGrid. SkewGrid does not know anything about cash back so I need to just pay attention to this initial profit margin that I get before cash back so my calculator came up with 2.55 percent as the margin however in SkewGrid I'm gonna round it off to about three percent and put a three percent Put a number three here for the margin and then you're going to click at this point I'm going to click estimate price just to get an idea of what price SkewGrid is going to give me for the item so I'm, when I click estimate price what it's really asking for is the total price between the price of the item and the shipping so going back to Zorro the item is 263 the shipping is five dollars so that is 763 so I'm going to when I click estimate price I'm going to enter 763 okay this does not include tax tax will be added here and click OK and it tells me that the new price is going to be 1017 so this is how you test the formula to see what result it's going to give you for that item and if you look at it 1017 is just one cent away from 1018 so it's basically the same I know it's one cent off for some reason skew grid gives me a slightly different number from what I would get on my when I do my own calculations but it's it's close enough so if I use 3% for the margin I round off the margin to 3% it will price the item uh, to ten dollars and seventeen cents which is actually good because it'll actually be lower than the Amazon price of 1018 which gives me the buy box more often.
gives me a much higher chance of selling so actually that's good um, so when you estimate the price you put that number in I'm gonna do it one more time when you put that amount if you don't like the number you're getting if it's too high um, then you can put in a lower margin and if it's too low you can put in try a higher margin until you find uh, that is giving you the right price error that you want and at that this point um, actually one other thing you can do is you can save the save these settings so you will click on save wizard for later this is really optional but it's something you can do and you can just give it a name like Zorro or something like that All right, you can just name your wizard accordingly all right um, if you want to put more details or put something else that's fine as well you click on save and the item is now saved the as Zorro and when you click the drop down you will see that Zorro is an option here's another one that I was that I did before okay so these this option will be here for the future but all you really need to do now is close is click close and apply but um, before I do that I just want to summarize what was done here there were basically only four things you had to do one was the vendor tax the second was the margin the Amazon fee percentage 15 and whether or not you want to include shipping and that is really all you actually have to do and then click close and apply but I did use estimate price to test out the formula to see what new price it was going to give me but at this point I'm just going to click close and apply and I will even click update item just to make sure that it goes through it says processing and it takes me back to my item list and you can see at this point um, it actually has finished pulling the image um, that was just a matter of time it just it's just a matter of time it takes a little bit of time and it just really depends um, for how long it's going to take and as you can see um, it hasn't really finished yet I just entered the repricing formula so now it's going to take some time to figure out the new price that it should have on Amazon and that is why I don't have a price here as yet okay so you will just have to wait for it to uh, finish repricing and then I will come back and check it at that later time.